Ha. Ha. What is that? 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 Captain Fleshlands, what are you up to? Get down here. There we go. What are you up to, Captain Fleshlands? What I what on earth is this? What is this? Captain Fleshlands! Why? What have you done? Captain Fleshlands, what have you done? What on earth is this? What on earth is this? Captain Flatulence, jeez Louise, man, what is this? It looks like a communication tower of some sort. What have you done? Ah. It's a communication tower. I mean, you got you got your own desk set up out here. What is this? Sorry, I'm gonna get up on a table for a second, but like, you, this looks like it has like a freak. What are we doing? Ah. Wireless communication? But like, yeah, why did you have to wake me up for it? Uh -huh. What do you mean get pranked? I mean, this wasn't fair. It's, it's early morning. It's sunrise. What on earth? Sunrise over there. The sunrise is over there. That's the moon setting. I'm, I'm stupid, all right? But what on earth is this? Uh -huh. It's a wireless communication tower. I mean... Yeah, I can tell, but how does it work? Uh. It uses wireless frequencies? What? Okay, let me get in here. Uh. What do you mean? Okay, don't get too... Yeah, I won't get too close. Okay, so this looks like it's a wireless receiver that's set to 2500 hertz. So what that means is that this here, which is a wireless transmitter, will send a frequency to that depending on the same so if this is on the same frequency they'll both turn each other on like okay so okay so let's just go into game mode creative and see what you've done here buddy so if we go up here all of these are sending out different frequencies and one of these is going to be the same frequency as that alarm that captain flashland set just outside my house so this one here is set to 1,500 hertz, and as you can see, this has a huge range. What on earth have you done, Captain Flatulence? Okay, so this here seems to be 1,500 hertz, so if this gets activated, it's going to send a frequency to that alarm receiver over there, which... This is kind of absurd, so it goes quite a distance, as you can see, so from this... From this one right here, this transmitter right here, all the way to that receiver right there. That is really far, and it can probably go... How far can this go? Ah. It has unlimited range. So you can basically put one thing 500,000 blocks that way, and it'll still work as long as you have a trunk loader from what I know. Because otherwise it won't really work, will it, Captain Fletchlands? Ah. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get one of these wireless transmitting devices. So as you can see over here, it adds a new tab called Wireless Redstone CBE, which all of the crafting recipes for these things are pretty simple. If we go to at CBE over here, you can see that there are many different things. Th these aren't part of the mod. This is just part of the mod pack that I've created. But this here is crafted with a wireless transceiver. An obsidian stick, which is just two obsidian, and then two redstone and three stone slabs. And this wireless transceiver is just an obsidian stick and a wreath of pearl, which a wreath of pearl is an ender pearl surrounded with redstone and glowstone dust. So that's pretty easy. But then, of course, the wireless receiver, which this thing receives with a receiver dish, has an obsidian stick, which is, again, two obsidian, two redstone, and then three stone slabs, which this little dish here is using a wireless transceiver, a stone bowl, which a stone bowl is three cobblestone like so. And for this little torch up here, it's the same thing as we did earlier. 
And then as well, there are some things are very buggy, which are these jammers here. So what these jammers do is they jam all redstone wireless transmitters and receivers within the area, which means they won't work anymore, except they seem to completely break them and you have to break them and place them back down after like a minute of placing this thing down. Basically, it's chaos. So that's an, that I wouldn't recommend using a wireless jammer. I'd recommend using these. Now the wireless sniffer and wireless and private sniffer are pretty simple to use. Now let me get one of these out and show you what it does. So let's activate this tower here and it'll activate that colored redstone up there, which we will do an episode on very shortly is that colored rep redstone up there. Won't we Kevin some flatulence? Oh. Yeah, I, I thought so. So these red redstone lamps down here indicate that the whole machine is receiving power and these ones up here are indicating that those certain frequencies are being sent out, which I will explain that in the next video with different colored redstones. But let's work, let's see how this thing works. So basically, if we do a private sniffer over here, it won't detect anything within the 0 to 1000 range, 1001 to 2000, 2001 to 3000. So over here, there are tons and tons of different frequencies and you can click on some of these and own these. So you can own some of these frequencies here. So like that, no one can touch these frequencies except you or you can make them public, which over here makes these a shared network. So you can basically make this a private network thing. But over here, this will just detect in general wireless frequencies. And as you can see, you can't actually click to own any of these, but you actually have this complete wireless, like basically a map of all of the wireless frequencies. Now this one here, this 2500 wireless receiver is the main signal to this tower to power on. So you can power this tower on completely and you can power up to 5,000 different things. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and you can actually do a lot with this thing. So if I were to right click on this thing, and normally you guys would see this when you first start off downloading the mod, but if you click on advanced down here, you can set a frequency name, and I can call this the, the foot network. There we go, let's call this the foot network and then set the name. And then you can do like some sort of spectrum stuff down here. I have no idea what that does actually because I've not been able to figure that bit out. But once this has the foot network on it, you can close out on this and go down to this receiver and s click on this foot network here. This is your network. So if you power this on, it will power the whole tower on. Basically, if you have that one, it basically names that network for you. So when you use a wireless sniffer, you can find out what it's dedicated for. But I'm pretty sure you can also set a specific, like um, you can make it so it's a private network and you own it and no one else can use it. I'm pretty sure that's what you do with the private sniffer here. But these frequencies from one to 1000 are public and then all of the other frequencies can be shared or privated to you. So that's pretty cool. Of course, there is also these REPs, which this is basically like the wireless jammer, except in grenade form. There is also a remote, which I'll explain what that does. This tracker, it's very, very broken. I don't even know what it's meant to do. There's even a wireless map here, which you can actually make a map and it will show you, and it needs a triangulator and stuff. So this is how you make a wireless map. You need a triangulator and eight paper. And for a triangulator, you need a wireless transceiver and four iron. Now for the tracker, which I don't recommend until later versions because this seems to be very buggy, you need a slime ball or any modded types of slime, an ender pearl or any modded types of obsidian here for or just normal obsidian to make the base part of this. Now this is like a grenade as well. It's meant to like block all networks within the area from what I know, but it doesn't work at all. So that should be it. We also have the remote, which is a button and a wireless transceiver, which I'll show you guys what this remote does in a second. And the last thing 
of course, is this REP which is 4 obsidian or modded obsidian, 1 ender pearl and a blaze transceiver, which a blaze transceiver is a blaze rod and a wreath of pearl, which this torch is also used in the private sniffer which uses blaze receiver dishes, which is just a stone bowl, and a blaze transceiver, and then it's two redstone, one button, three modded stones, or any normal stone, and uh, that should be all you need for this. Now, what you can do with this wireless remote is if you shift right click, you can set this to be a specific frequency or the foot network here, and it will automatically set the frequency for you. And for instance, let's say, I turn this complete tower off. Well now, from anywhere around the map, I can turn this tower on and it will turn those transceivers and receivers up there on. So this receiver uh, down here is only turned on by my remote. So if I stay on the right click button, it will turn on this frequency. You do have to stay on right click though before like it stays on because otherwise if you just take your finger off right click it just turns the whole tower off so um that's kind of a little bit disappointing but it does work and that's the whole point of it but if you had like a redstone door or something you could just right click once on this and it would open the wireless door for you but let's go over here and show you what this does as well if i am at this alarm system over here i can turn on that tower and the alarm will start the Captain Flatulence paste placed in front of my bedroom. Yeah, I'm gonna get this removed because I don't like it. There is a little bit of a delay the further you go, but um, Captain Flatulence, Captain Flatulence buddy, let's, what do you say to us going on an adventure very far away from this island and seeing if we can get a wireless signal using this remote? Huh? Okay, let's do it. So basically, all we're going to need is to activate this and this will set all of the 1000 frequency range active. So let's go and place one of these wireless receivers somewhere with, um, let's, let's add a couple of, of nice redstone lamps and stuff and we'll, we'll be right there with you guys once we've built this nice little redstone contraption rather far away from here. Okay, Captain Flatulence, do you think this is far enough? Ah. Okay, so we went really far. Our house is somewhere over there, but let's show how you guys can set this up yourselves. So basically, all you're going to need is one of these wireless receivers here. Once you've got a transmitter over there that is definitely powered on. If not, you can power it on with the remote as I showed you guys earlier and it will still work. But let's set this to, um, how about let's set this to 1,500 or one, no, let's set it to 1,400 hertz. So this now is going to be powered through that system over there unless, unless there isn't any trunk loaders, but we'll explain how to do trunk loaders later with custom NPCs mod. Won't we, Captain Fletchlance? Ah. Yep. I, I thought so. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually just set a couple of things here. And there we go, there we go. Cuss a, a bunch of la lamps, there we go. We're going to set this here. Um, let's see if we can actually run it on the foot network and, and, and see. Mm, it seems to be a bit too far, so we're going to go get one of those guys over there later to completely run this off of a trunk loader but as you guys can see the remote still works over here let's go get a trunk loader over there captain flatulence and see if this will work okay so to do a trunk loader all you need to do is go to your custom npcs tab over here and create a new npc we're gonna name this guy um foot loader there we go and uh, he should be absolutely fine here. Now what we're gonna go, it's, we're gonna do over here, we're gonna set this as a chunk loader and there we go, he should be loading the chunk. Dude, your eyes look a bit corrupted, but that's fine, we'll fix that later. So now he's going to be loading this entire chunk over here. Okay, so Captain Flatulence, as you can see, I'm not holding the remote anymore and that NPC that we set over there as a chunk loader is loading these lamps up 
and it seems to be completely working. And I think I think this can go really, really far, can't it, Captain Fletchlance? Ah. Oh. So I think we can probably go 500,000 blocks away from home, except um, I wouldn't really recommend going that far. We'd probably get lost, wouldn't we, Captain Fletchlance? Ah. Oh. Yeah. But uh, this looks pretty good. It seems to be working completely fine. Now let's go back to the base and uh, see how that NPC is doing. We're going to remove him from existence too. I don't like him. Do you like him? <coughs> he smells like feet, so uh, we, we better get rid of him. Captain Flatulence, where are you, buddy? Why are you having a swim? Did you just decide you liked the ocean all of a sudden? It must be really cold in there this morning, dude. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this NPC wand and instead of just right clicking him because it'll actually spawn another, we just aim in the air and where it says footloader here we just click delete and yes and there he is, Th Thanos snapped out of this universe and uh, oh, how strange that that foot smell has suddenly uh, just disappeared. Ah. Yeah, it is weird. I agree, buddy. If you guys want to see different coloured redstone in the future, for instance, all of these which you can see there's different effects for them all in a later video, make sure to tell us down in the comment section down below and also make sure to leave a like and subscribe and we will definitely get that video done for you guys in the near future. Captain Flatulence, what did you think of this little experiment that we did today? Okay, you didn't have to do that, buddy. But I hope you've all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. See you guys in the next video. Peace out everybody.